Hello! Today, we are playing Vampire the Masquerade Rivals, expandable card game by Renegade Game Studios. Although the game itself is tabletop, today we will be playing it digitally with a prototype to give you an idea how the game works. If you'd like more information on the game and how to play it, please find a link in the video description. Now, let's get down to it. My name is B. Dave Walters, and if you're a fan of the World of Darkness, you might know me as the storyteller from Long Beach by Night and from Anarchs of New York, and of course, as the undisputed Baron of the Valley, Victor Temple, and today I will be playing the Vintru deck. Because of course I am. Hi, I'm Martina Zich, also known as Outstar. I am the community developer for World of Darkness, and I am going to represent Clan Toriator today. Hello, I'm Erica Ishii. I play Annabelle Bruja on LA by Night, and true to Annabelle's character and my character, I will be representing Clan Bruja today. Hey everyone, I'm Xander Genre. I play X the Malkavian on LA by Night, and today I'll be representing Clan Malkavian. <laughs> All right, so here we go with Vampire the Masquerade Rivals uh, expandable card game. We've already decided amongst ourselves that it will be, <sighs> I guess, the most beautiful of us. Not the oh. Toreador. The Malkavians <laughs> will be going first. Yes, I the said what I said. The most beautiful of spirit. Yes. Yeah. I said what I said. So it is all yours, Xander. And uh, I will I'm... just say in advance, I do not apologize for the crushing defeat I'm about to visit upon all of you. We'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to flip this rival token. So my rival is going to be for the Bruja. <gasps> so a match made in heaven. Duh. All right. All right, I'm going to flip mine, and my rival is going to be number three. That's Ventru. Ah, I told you I was sorry. Uh, I will. <laughs> uh, I will flip this token. I'm going to try and flip this token. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, that is who am I? That's number one. Uh, Malkavians. Oh, Malkavian. It's do It's just business, Xander. It's just sure, business. Sure. Oh. So it's it's Bruja versus Toreador, which feels which feels fitting enough. <laughs> yeah. 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 In order versus chaos, I get it. Mm -hmm. The ugly people. Action <laughs> <Fashion> fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so uh, I go first, and we've all drawn our hands. <clears throat> Since I'm the first player, I've drawn. Uh, one less card, uh, uh, one of the red vampire cards into my hand. So you all got to draw two. So I'm going to uh, flip over four of these city deck cards. So the first one is this Vagrant. Uh, we, ooh, we've got the Castro Street Party, uh, a Skateboarder Citizen, oops, and then another Vagrant. So with this Castro Street Party, that's an ongoing event. So uh, every character in the street gets plus one secrecy. I'm gonna add a prestige token onto there. Uh, and then let's see, yeah, the vagrants are uh, mortal retainers. And then we've got a skateboarder citizen, which is also a mortal retainer, but a little bit stronger. So on my first turn, uh, I'm going to lay out a conspiracy, but I'm going to put it face down. Oops. Oh no, where did it go? Flip it. I'm going to flip it face down for now. That's for later. So that's one of my actions. I have a second action. Let's see. I'm going to play another vampire. Let's bring Velvet to the party. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, oh, right. And since I put the conspiracy out, I can add one prestige to that. And then Velvet is going to cost me, uh, she's got a cost of four up there. So let's put this and flip that to the blood token. And now that's sort of her HP. Uh, with Governor's ability, I'm going to draw one card when I play a card face down outside of an attack. So I will draw, let's draw from my yellow deck on that one. And I believe with laying the conspiracy and then calling in Velvet, those are my two actions. So at the end of this turn, I'm going to draw two cards as well. Uh, and I'm going to pick this one and this one. That feels right. All right. And at the beginning of my turn, I'm just going to remind everyone of what we are trying to aim for in here. We all of us want to score 
13 agenda or knockout arrival. And each of us, of course, has one rival, but we also have agenda points, which each of us will gain in different ways. In my particular case, as I'm a Torator, I am gaining my, my agenda through uh, recruiting the citizen retainers, recruiting in a very forceful manner, which I'm going to do probably in a second. Now, Cavians might be spreading some conspiracy theories or not. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start by recruiting um, Bella. There we go. And Bella is my second raider vampire. And I feel like I'm actually going to move Miss Chen to the streets. So she's going to go there with her whole entourage, which is for now is nothing. Uh, oh yeah, and I also have to play one city card, obviously. Let me just flip it very quickly. And that's another vagrant. There is a lot of vagrants in San Francisco. Uh, it's a party. Me... We're going out in the Castro. <laughs> I know. Uh, and this is actually a very good thing for me because I won him. Um, and so he has two blood points, which means I need to deal two damage. And I'm going to deal social damage with Miss Chen. All right, so I'm going to move Miss Chen to the streets, and um, I, as I am caring about the citizens the most, and the um, and I have to attach them to my wonderful torator. I'm going to actually attack the skateboarder, and to oh. defeat her, I need free damage, and I'm going to do it in a social way because uh, she has two, and I'm going to use a card for this. Let me just flip this mm -hmm. here. This is my attack, um, and as they have no way of defending against me, I'm just going to flip it. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm exhausting her to attack, and then I'm flipping this card. So I know I could use it later on in the game, but I just really want that citizen. Uh, this <laughs> is going to give me plus one damage. So I have three total, and that means I'm going to uh, get uh, defeat the skateboarder and attach her to my uh, my torator, my leader. Let me just uh, do it this way and put her on. So now a few things happen. Uh, because I am going to gain plus one potency because of that, that means that my total potency is now seven. It was six firsthand. But also I have uh, the Haven's ability, which means that when a character in my coterie attaches a retainer, the character means one damage, so one blood point. So that means I can actually get myself one additional blood point on her. Nice. And additionally, I'm getting one uh, agenda point because I've just attached a citizen retainer. You're the first right. one on the board to get an actual point. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> not how you start, harder. it's how you finish. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ventrue, let's see what you will do. <laughs> oh, Mr. Ventrue, wait a second, because I've just noticed that I also gain one agenda for defeating this particular skateboarder, so I guess it's two, not one. You know, we have to catch up now. Ugh. And, then and at also, the, yeah, at yeah, the end of your turn, I, you're going to draw two. Yeah, and I also need to draw two. Uh, I discard the attack. Um, it goes here. And I also draw two cards. And I think I'm going to draw two from here. And that's it for me. I am not impressed by the fact that you can recruit skateboarders and vagabonds into your pitiful coterie. I representing clan ventru uh first must draw for the city yes all right yeah. let's see and it is uh, uh the sp second inquisition oh, i didn't expect that so. uh special affairs division second inquisition when you're defeated you gain one prestige and discard this ongoing at the end of your turn deal one aggravated damage to a character in your coterie not protected by secrecy plus one intel attacks with uh, other sad good good now um let's see so i got some things i can do so i'm just drop them right there um now let's just get to it first i'm going to deploy one of my surprised childer of Nancy Witt, which will cost me three blood to get her out here. Nancy, your sire calls upon you. And this is one of my three tokens, I believe. 
Again, I have just the darndest time selecting just one thing. It always wants to pick the pile. Um, do I have the... Oh, I can just take one. Cool. Um, this is my three token, or my three blood potency pieces, I believe. Because that's what I want. Mm -hmm. That is what I have, right? Isn't this one of my threes? Yep. Excellent. Yep. Uh, I'm also going to play my long-term investment uh, because if you can't get this out in the first round, when can you get it out? Um, <laughs> which I have to pay three uh, influence, which I believe this is one of my three influence tokens. But I uh, will be able to get double that back. So from here outside, I need another nice. three influence token. Uh, that is a one. Let's see, I will find a three influence token over here somewhere and put it out there uh, because it will basically pay me dividends for that. There's one. It will pay me dividends for the next uh, six rounds, which should be good. Uh, I will fight with that here in a second and put my other three one on here. But there is uh, one important thing. Uh, my Haven. I have a leader ability to discard an unattached city deck mortal and add a new card to the streets. I shall rid San Francisco of this pesky second inquisition for a safer and more unified city under the divine leadership of clan ventrue uh so yeah, i will I have do a good news and bad news for you good news you are a very good ventrue for getting rid of the inquisition bad news you need to get exhausted for uh playing the investigation card uh-oh uh that is not a problem however um i should get what does this count as me having defeated them for the sake of getting um the uh influence that on the card it says when they're defeated you gain one or prestige, rather. No, I don't think it does. I'm sorry. Nope. They're just removed for the sake of being removed. All right. That's cool. Well, uh, we will remember your good deed. When it's, yeah. Uh, I will make every alliances. effort to remind you. Yes, that is it. Yeah. Um, and I'm my camera is going wonky, so I'm having trouble getting to my boy to exhaust him. But I believe that is it for me. So draw up two for the end of the turn. I will draw one new one here which uh, is crooked, because that's how I roll, um, mm -hmm. is going to be a gallery opening. Each player may discard up to two cards, and for each card they discard, gain one prestige. Um, I'm still I, doing that. I believe I'm going to do that as well. Uh, gallery opening, I am going to discard two, but that is a one-shot, uh, one-time event, so then we will discard that one. You were either there or you weren't. I think I'll stay out of the gallery for this one. Probably for the best. It's a lot of bright colors. Be Might be overwhelming for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, besides, I am going to discard, but uh, that is it for me. Otherwise, on my turn. All right. Uh, I'm up. Bruja yep. is going to come in swinging. And so my agenda, to remind everybody, is uh, uh, just defeating characters in general. <laughs> so if you defeat a non-rival character, you gain uh, you get a point. Uh, a character that's really strong, you gain a point. Uh, so, and so Bruja are coming in swinging. All right, so <laughs> I pull a city card, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What do we got? Oh. Ah. Oh. Uh, the Inquisition again. Oh. All right. Mm. Um, They're everywhere. I don't <laughs> if I want to do something about that. Uh, but for now, I'm definitely uh, going to deploy Beretta. Mm. Uh, ooh, why does it grab? No. Uh, Brad is coming out. Um, cool. Geez. Now it's a party. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so she's out there. Um, that's one action is recruiting Beretta. And then I have one more action. Uh, I could, it, see, it would seem very Bruja like to make an attack. So I feel like I need to do that. Oh yeah, Li Zhu is kind of out in the open in the streets right now. I am going to forgive you all your right. sins if you attack the Inquisition. It's true. It'd be a shame if something I... were to happen to her. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> Ooh. I mean, she's she is stacked right now, though, right? You know? I am. Yeah. I do feel stacked. Um, okay, I, I will do what is good for the city, and I... Oh. I will attack the Inquisition. I believe mm -hmm. I can do so 
with enough oh i'm, I'm not sure if i have enough high firepower uh just for the sake of anyone looking i'm breaking some of these three influence tokens down into ones so if you see me fiddling with my influence over here that's what i'm doing <laughs> sure <laughs> sure yeah, mm, yes no it's uh, embezzlement <laughs> yeah keep an eye on the venture <laughs> it's, uh, it's, how dare you say things so <laughs> so controversial yet so brave <laughs> Actually, I don't think that I have enough firepower to take on the Inquisition right now. Combined. And it's got to be all in one go for this. It's got to be. It's got to be all in one go. Uh, and I have different kinds of attacks. With these two characters. So I guess we have to just kind of let the Inquisition be, huh? Um, like a Bruja, I'm gonna hit the board swinging, and Hydra is coming out. I'm hitting the streets and swinging at Laiju. No! Uh, so tap that. And then, ugh. I don't know how to, how do I? Okay. And then putting out something there, a little attack there. I don't like this, but I have so, nothing to defend myself with. <laughs> all right. Is there any reactions? No, no reactions. N no. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't oh be sorry. God, I, just want, I just, just want peace in the streets. This is the only oh, way. No. Oh. Okay. So the physical attack. So it's two. Um. Uh, so you're attacking with oh, Hydra. So that's four, right? Yeah. So that's that's four. <sighs> okay. I am going to uh, use to pay one to draw cards. You want to use, use Wait, Hydra? No. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use Hydra to draw a card. Uh, so discard one of those tokens. And I draw a card. And you also have House of Pain, right? So you can right. discard and one. So I, I should discard the card. Nice. Big oh. combo. Yeah. I support you no. in your glorious revolution against those right. insufferable Toreador. <laughs> and then I strike for a total of five damage. Oh, okay. So I have um, one physical, so I subtract one from the damage, so I actually lose four blood points. Oof. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to just like get yes. this out of here. <laughs> Maybe spend more time in your haven tomorrow night. Probably. Just drinking from my my skateboard <laughs> and killing my wounds. <laughs> well, it was it was I, I suffered a toll on my end as well. The Inquisition. Good. I need to take damage from the second Inquisition. Good for you. <laughs> I'm going to take it from Beretta. That's fair. So take damage there. Um, She's strunk. She got yeah, bumped up at the party. <laughs> I will draw cards here. And I think that's it for me. Okay. We're coming back around to the Malkavian. So at the start of my turn, I'm going to resolve the, the city deck. For me, the carnival uh, actually burns out. So we're going to take that out and then I get that off. Uh, I'm going to pass around my conspiracy. Let's see. Let's do hmm. this. Um, Toreador, would you like to get in on this conspiracy theory? I'm going to move it oh. over towards your uh, area. Uh-huh. I'm going to Imagine put it in my hands. Look. Uh, I yeah, I, I love to say that it's beautiful. Great. So I'll I'm take going that to back. to give you um one of my prestige, right? Yeah. There we go. And actually, I think I want to get Ventru in on this conspiracy theory too. Ah. So I moved it over <laughs> in front of you a little bit. We might be able to do business. Alright, so let me just double check here and make if it is what I think it is. Let's see. Um, yes, 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 yes. No, I definitely want to be a part of this. Uh, whoops. No, I'm making it terrible. How do I how do I flip it in my hand so that the other person doesn't see it when I put it back down? Okay, there That's it is. Fine. I got it. Cool. And then I'm going to put that back. I'm going to make sure I return the two that are on it here. 
because they stayed in my hand for some reason. It made them blood instead of influence. I'll reverse that. That's all that. good. I can take care of that. Okay. Uh, I want in though. Yes. Great. So go ahead and add yours. Just make sure I'm putting on the right size token. Mm -hmm. That is not it. Um, that is also not it. There we are. Yes, pleasure doing business with the two of you. Ooh, I'll take that. Uh, and that'll come back over to my hand, or my area over here. Okay. So, now, I believe now that the conspiracy has these three uh, uh, prestige that activates it, because that's what it took. So, let's take a look here. Hmm. I played it face down first, and, uh, uh, oh, and I'm going to ready Govna who is my character. Uh, let's see. It has three plus prestige on it, which has right now. You may resolve it during my turn, which I am. Target foe who did not contribute. That happens to be the Bruja, my rival this time. Hey. Uh, oh, that's right. I forgot we were rivals. We're, we're, well, you're my rival for this side. <laughs> so unfortunately, Erica, oh. uh, you're going to have to discard three oh, cards. very well. All those carefully laid plans you had. Uh, yes, the, my carefully laid plans that I had. <laughs> <laughs> or didn't. Bruja. Triggering that conspiracy theory actually uh, sets off my agenda, which is my win condition. And uh, with mine specifically, the end is nigh. <laughs> I gain two uh, uh, to my agenda, and I gain one prestige as well to my pool. So, let's see. I've still got some stuff going on here. Out in the city, we've got a tour guide citizen. Do we still have the second inquisition or is that gone? It's, it's there. there. I need to defeat them. Gotcha. I think, let's see. Let's see what the uh, Malkavians can do about this. I think I'm gonna mm. go ahead and uh, send Velvet out to the streets. And let's. Ch -ch -ch. Velvet is going to make an attack, an unhinged mental attack. So Velvet is going to do that. Uh, I'm playing unhinged. I'm going to discard up, uh, up to two cards. I'm going to discard this whispering campaign over here. Oops. And this one. So I've discarded two to gain two points to my mental attack. That's a three total. Let's do, uh, yeah, okay. Let's exhaust her. And then let's do, you know, one more just to give it, get it all going. So that's up to four damage taking care of the second inquisition out there. In the nice. Hmm. Though it unfortunately is exhausted. These moon um, children can strike quite a blow when prompted. I will make a <laughs> note. So, uh, since I still have one more action left, I'm going to place this card face down and add one of my prestige tokens. What could that be? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out later. Wow. And I think that is the end of the Malkavian's turn this time. Uh, we've got, oh wait, face down card. Govna, this beautiful Malkavian with those amazing sideburns, uh, I get to uh, draw a card. So I'm going to draw three total since it's the end of my turn. One for the Govna, two for me, and three for that. And Govna is exhausted from all One, of that. One, two, three. Yeah. That's and I think that's it. So let's start the Torator turn and let's see what's happening in the city. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's a draggy. Interesting. So we have a draggy and we have a tour guide. I am interested in both. Um, I would just like to say I... that Toriador has an unfair advantage trying to hypnotize us with her wonderful accent. It will not work. Roses, it will not work. <laughs> I'm going to, to keep on talking then. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, talking's um, my power. Ooh. And also, also, my wonderful Torator leader is uh, readying herself and getting back to heaven. But I don't want to go back to heaven. I kind of want to stay on the streets, if that's possible. Mm. So I'm kind of going in and out again. 
and I will use my social attack, um, which she has two by default, but also she has an attached retainer, so she has three for the first. Um, uh, am I am I correct when the, for the first uh, attack of the uh, of the turn I have one additional point, and I'm going to attack the tour guide um, with free um, damage, and I'm going to attach her to myself. Nice. I'm going to exa exhaust, exhaust my uh, leader, put this on her, and I now have both the skateboarder and a tour guide, and tour guide is giving me plus one social combat, so that's pretty cool. And that's another citizen too, right? Mm -hmm. So that means I am earning two agenda total because uh, the tour guide is giving me one and the retainer is giving me another one. Yeah. Okay. So because I attached the tour guide who gives me one additional agenda and because attaching retainers gives me an agenda, I'm gaining two. Nice. And not only that, but also... Um, I am going to mend one damage because I attached the, um, the agenda, uh, the, the retainer, sorry. So I'm going to flip it and put it on Jen. Let me see if there's anything else on her. I don't think so. But I'm actually going to um, do a second um, sequence, a second action. And I'm going to recruit Mr. Ty Smith. Mm. who is a um, trader vampire who blocks ranged attacks. And I'm going to pay free for that. There we go. And now I'm drawing two cards, and I think that's it for me. Mm. Yes. If you're into <laughs> such things, I suppose. Uh, first, for me... Um... We gotta find uh, out what's happening in the city. Draw. Let us see what is happening in my city. <laughs> uh, cable car accident. Ongoing. Oh, no. Characters in the streets do not return to their havens at the start oh, of their oh, turn. Oh, <laughs> oh. You're pinned Ooh. down. Pinned down. Ouch. Uh, I'm not using cable cars. I'm too posh for that. <laughs> <laughs> we all had but, characters in the streets. I was about to say, oh. you might, but no, not all of us. Uh, oh, wow. No. Also, you might have been hipster. You might have been trying to do it ironically, and you see what happened. Yeah. Also, oh, yeah. maybe I had that the cable happens. car cable cut. I don't know. <laughs> do it uh, for the TikTok. So my long-term investment is paying off. I get uh, one prestige at the start of my turn here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that into my supply. I'm going to go ahead and wake up. Oh, somebody else already woke him up for me. Uh, Randolph Martz. Uh, I am going to uh, summon one of my childer, Stevie Argyle. I gain one prestige whenever another character in my coterie attaches a title. You get Stevie out here. <laughs> and I will, uh, oops. All right. Stevie, you're being sloppy, girl. No. I have to, <laughs> I have to rearrange everything here to make room for my expanding power base. Um, uh, and I will get my uh, five points to pay for Stevie. Uh, I'll put that over here in a second. I have to get five. Um, and that is... Um, I don't have any actions that are good. However, as a leader ability, I'm going to get rid of some of these pesky mortals. I have problems with what Toriador is doing. So who all is out here right now? Because they're upside down for me. It looks like we've got three vagrants and a druggie. Um, I'm going to get rid of the druggie and draw another one. Be gone, not in my city. No, my pets. Mm -hmm. My plaything. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to go to Vegas. And uh, it has been replaced with a cop, a mortal retainer. When defeated, gain one prestige and choose one, uh, one to burn men three or attach to gain one. What's the symbol that looks like a brick wall? That's the uh, dominate. Yeah. Uh, attach, gain one dominate and one blood potency. I um I do not have any other actions that are fitting right now, so I will draw my two cards. But I can use one of my actions to draw a card. So I will um I will actually uh, I'm feeling pretty good about my coterie right now. I'll go with three yellow cards, and that will be it for me. Very defensive of you, Ventrue. I don't know <laughs> what you're referring to, ma'am. Just playing a long game. <laughs> 
Proceed, Malkavian. I grow bored of your foolishness. Oh, I think it's Bruja. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Bru Bruja's here. One thing okay. Bruja he never is is boring. Uh, the of Camarilla cannot even tell Bruja from a Malkavian. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the Bruja. same to us. There's Vintru and not Vintru. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm waking up Hydra. Uh, I cannot go back to my haven because of the cable car accident. I'm going to draw a uh, um, city, city card here. Yeah. Let's do that. And that yeah. would, that is a wandering the BART tunnels. Ooh, that's a, Ooh. a scary prospect. Uh, ongoing. Every character not in their haven is a separate party. Oh, we no. can't return them to the haven and they're in a separate party. Oh, they're alone and lost in the city. So that means they can't attack together, I believe. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Oh. Okay, well, that is unfortunate. All right, so my party is split, which is something you never want to do. Um, but nonetheless, uh, we're gonna we're gonna take down that cop. Uh, I'm going to expend Hydra there, and that's two. Then for the third. Uh, I am going to use a trusty old baseball bat. The flavor, <laughs> the flavor text is a bisexual joke. It says, I swing both ways, but more accurately to both bisexuals and baseball bats, they swing all the ways. Yeah. So we're coming out swinging like Bruja, baby. Uh, so that's three. Um, we attack the cop. The cop is defeated. I discard my baseball bat. It breaks in the, in the melee. Um, Oh, so I gain one agenda um, from the cop, and I think that's... Yep. That's yeah, it. that's it. Uh, and then I'm going to attach the cop. I'm going to put out Skunk. Skunk is going to join the party, but mm -hmm. separately. Um, He's hot. Yeah. He is very hot. <laughs> um, and he block, and he also blocks any well, long distance damage. He protect, he attack, and he is Yeah. Snack. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, and I will draw. Oh, that's... draw two, um, and that's it for me. So we're a couple of turns into this. I have lulled them into a sufficiently false sense of security to begin the Ventru domination of the city of San Francisco. Uh, so the first thing I will do is take my last bit of influence off of my long-term investment here. So take that. It is burned. That was very good money to spend on term number one. I am going to play my assert authority, which means my leader has plus one influence for each foe in the game. Oh no. Thank you all for making me stronger by your obstinance. And in <laughs> hey. doing so, uh, I will I will declare my character Randolph Martz as the new keeper of Elysium for a safer and more secure San Francisco. The you keeper can do of that? I can actually. <laughs> I bought it because I am a Vintru. Uh, I have to pay for influence, which I now have, thanks to Exert Authority. Uh, attached to the acting character, characters in your haven have plus one security, which is good for me. Uh, but this also sets off some other things. My dear child Stewie, uh, when I gain a title, I get one prestige whenever any character in my coterie attaches a title, which I have now done. I will collect that. Uh, also... Uh, my leader ability, characters with a title in your coterie have plus one influence, so uh, he, Mr. Martz is already back at two. Uh, also, the base of power is my win condition, so when a character in your coterie attaches a title, gain two. So I can gain two. Hey. Yes. Nice. Excellent. Uh, I will collect these momentarily. Good, good. Everything is proceeding according to plan. <laughs> um, and uh, let me think here. I'm going to eliminate one of those pesky mortals that is out in the city. Also, I actually hope I draw a second Inquisition because they can't hurt me now. So those of you that are stuck out there, are, it kind of sucks for you. Hey, Ventru, uh, before you go too far, you have no influence anymore. So push with that freaking button. Get you one. spent uh, it. 
Gandalf has temporarily exerted his influence, which I assure you, it, it'll be fine. In fact, when I come back next turn, he will be starting back with five influence instead of a mere four. But I feel I will rid the streets of San Francisco from some pesky mortal. I will leave the Special Affairs Division. They no longer can find me and mine. Mm -hmm. So good luck dealing with that. Uh -huh. Um What's this uh, athlete? I don't know if I like the look of him. Uh, vagrant. Ugh, I've seen him. Um, uh, there's already a lot of a number of vagrants in play. Another druggie. Uh, I shall do away with this athlete. He can run all across the bridge and out of my town. So I will do and away. And we have a keeper of Elysium with no influence. San Francisco <laughs> is doomed. <laughs> uh, temporarily, temporarily. I am out in the streets making a safer and more secure San Francisco. And we have a chef as a citizen that when defeated gain um, one prestige. What's the crown symbol? Agenda. Presence. Gain oh, one. Agenda. Yeah. When defeated, gain one agenda and choose one to burn to min three, or you can attach him and draw one card and gain one... Presence. Presence. Gain one presence. Interesting. Uh, that is it for me. I will draw... I believe um, that is two actions for me. I am only going to draw my two yellow cards, and that will be it. So we're finally back in my turn, and I think it's time for some scheming because I don't like the amount of Why little. Is it not? <laughs> I know, right? I don't like the the amount of little blue buttons next to Ventro. So um, you know what? I am going to call a little meeting away from Elysium, and I'm going to ask my dear friend Bruja. I love you guys so much. You're so passionate, and my dear friend Malkavian. <gasps> I dig you for. We're invited. Products. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's a party. Uh, I'm really one. And uh, here's the balance of power that we need to discuss in here. There's imbalance on the table. Oh. So I'm going to ask you to vote yay for taking some of the. Oh, yeah, I'm going to also exact someone to do that. Let's. Bella Forte is actually going to go out there on her mo motorcycle and do that. And. Um, gotcha. To so are we all spending our influence to steal from the Ventru for this round? As much influence as I have. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So looks like from the vote, it seems that we are all going to spend our influence to vote yay on this particular conspiracy. And let's hear what... Oh yeah, we are going to also grab the uh, no influence uh, tokens for this mm -hmm. round because we spend it. And what do Ventru have to say? I think it is adorable that it took all three of you to have this mild distraction, but I am temporarily occupied. I have no influence to spend. Mm -hmm. How does that feel, <laughs> huh? How you <laughs> lot must feel every night. Ooh, sick burn. <laughs> Uh, very sick, but now you guys can treat yourself to the prestige, so uh, have a little taste. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Don't get used to it, it is very temporary. So we each have stolen one, and you can tell yes. by the chips too, because the Venture chip has a different outline. It's better. You can tell <laughs> it's mine because it's better. It's gilded gold. All right. It feels dirty in my tray. No, feel free to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> So we've made it through several rounds now, and I have endured massive treachery and disrespect from the lesser clans. Whoa. <laughs> and it is time that we come to it here. So it is close. It's time to mobilize everyone. Clan Ventru is on the march. I've left. Whoa. You all think that we just hide in our ultra secure haven and don't ever come out and get dirty, but we do. I am launching a social attack on the governor. Oh, no, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, wait. No, oh, that's yeah, my Bruno leader. Toriador can't help you now, governor. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So you're, okay, you're doing just a social attack, right? It is not just a social attack. I am modifying my attack this okay. is the end for you governor you might as well just take it like try and die with some dignity for once in your own life dignity i don't know the meaning of the word i'm gonna block <laughs> instead uh with velvet so i'm gonna exhaust velvet there uh and i don't have anything in my hand to react so i'm just gonna have to to take it so what do you got 
I am attacking with know your place. So three damage, one for Randolph himself, one from know your place, one from the fact that he has a title to get me to three. And just to make sure, I'm going to use Randolph's ability to discard a title for an extra point of damage. I will discard the Herald title and make sure none of my childhood will ever hold that storied position to make sure this is the end for you. Foire damage. Uh, okay, so I see this damage incoming. I think, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be okay. So uh, first of all, I can block one social with Velvet just uh, from the get-go. And then I can use, I can exhaust uh, this Vagrant to sort of block another point. And then, I, I don't know, I, I, I lose this one point and then another one, and I guess that's it. I'm It's over. No! So Velvet you, falls. as my rival, Clan Malkavian, which I'm loath to even say out loud, having defeated one of your kindred, that earns me one final point here. Oh, it was your last one? That was my last one. And in doing so, gets me to 13, which I believe my agenda base of power says if you reach 13, you win. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that is sweeping victory for Clan Ventru. The you once the and worst? future true rulers of San Francisco. <laughs> David was the worst. He could actually save the city and kill the second Inquisition instead, and he would win anyway, but he prefers to attack a Malkavian. <laughs> now I have all the time in the world to deal with the pesky second Inquisition. And Bruja Toriador, your insurrection will be forgotten and forgiven. Let us move forward as a safe and united Camarilla. What? Bye, California. <laughs> I'm away from there. Whatever Malkavians survive, be out of town by sundown tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah, we're always out of town. <laughs> <Mentally>. <laughs> but all jokes aside, that was fantastic. That was so much fun. Thank you, Xander. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Outstar. That was fantastic. I love this game. This is This is great. In fact, do you guys want to play again right now? Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm, always a pleasure being a vampire with you, B Dave. It's I, I'm 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 still gonna play Ventru though. I mean, like we're gonna play again, but like I'm... no, no, we're all keeping our clans. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. No, yeah. let's shuffle it back yeah. up again. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go. <laughs> Revenge of the Malkavians. This sounds time, pretty good. Yeah, this time, this time, I don't think Eric is gonna go easy on us though. So uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> say, I'm gonna say out front, I'm I'm looking for some allies. And once again, the Ventru reign supreme. Thank you so much for coming along with us for this demo of Vampire the Masquerade Rivals Expandable Card Game. Click on the link below to find out how to get a set for yourself and maybe you will be the next Prince of San Francisco.